everybody, welcome back, Northern Lion Monster Train. Allow me to apologize, my voice may get a little hoarse over this recording. My city is uh, currently blanketed in wildfire smoke. We got HEPA air filters running nonstop, but still a little... It's like a little uh, regional campfire outside right now. Um, but, you know, I'm not trying to be like, oh, do you have sympathy for me? I mean, we're still pretty comfortable can't really complain i'm just saying i you know get ready in case it goes a little ahem ahem all right we have not won in a long time two episodes let's do another expert challenge spellcraft you get you got small hands connie's small hands cards are not discarded at the end of your turn really bad time to have dead weight but spells are cheaper yo you know what i'm thinking so in my head, I'm like, you want to be Stygian, and you would be Stygian with some discard engines, but that's resin. So instead, we're just going to send it with the random and hope we get Stygian. What can you say? It's better to be lucky than good, baby. And we got uh, Little Fade, so that should be interesting. Uh, a unit I still clearly do not understand how to use at all. Tomb units, I got to be honest, like plus 30 HP... It gets the blood pumping. We don't have any tomb units yet, obviously. Enemy units enter with frostbite 2. I mean, the thing is, frostbite 2 is also, like, really good at just killing the backline units early without having to worry about it. It will scale badly, but I, I think early on, this is actually pretty good. That was a tough choice, though. Okay, so th there's a bunch of different options here that I quite like. Um, I, I really like all permanent cards. I honestly think, like, that's kind of my... That's, like, my number one thing that I love in this game is cards that get permanent upgrades. Um, then there is also on Extinguish. So every time you die, um, you get stronger. But we can't actually bring you back because you have Endless, which I've now learned. <laughs> I'm not saying that makes you bad. I mean, really... Uh, it, it could make you awesome, but we have so little card draw. I, I still think you go little Icarus on this one. I just love... I, spikes are fun. Um, I did get Slay and Extinguish confused on the last run, didn't I? Or something like that. People were like, you, you got these two confused, so you didn't gain spikes as quickly as you thought you would. Okay, fair enough. But I, I like our start here. You know, It's always a good sign when it takes us two and a half minutes to get to the first fight, because it means we're doing something right. So we need units to die to us, not to die um, from the uh, from the frostbite. So that is not going to happen. So we want to play you elsewhere. We don't have because you cost zero. We don't actually have to play you at all right now, which is probably a good thing to keep in mind. So let's let's put a train steward here. We're not losing these cards, so we can choose later where to play them to get a little bit more benefit. Um, so on this one. Nobody's died yet, so we still don't have much reason for a Frozen Lance. The Collector is by, dying by default, which is nice. You definitely like this, and then this. And then again, we just kind of stall, because there's no reason not to. I think this is the right way to play this right now, even though it definitely looks a little goofy. Um, so you're taking... A, we, we, here's the thing. We could make you take 25 damage that'll kill you. Don't really want to... I mean, we would like to kill you. I'm just trying to think about, like, if I put... If I do 25 to you, you're going to have 18 left, and you're, take, you're taking 6 right now. Feel like we are not getting any kills with Lil Fade. <laughs> I'm just trying to... In my head, I'm like, okay, what if I put you at the back? How would this work? You'd have 18. You'd hit. You'd get hit, hit. And then you get hit for another five, which would not be enough to finish the job. So honestly, here's here's my new hypothesis, okay? <laughs> Definitely want to play this. We're getting a cool new train steward who doesn't play by the rules. Um, units that come to the top floor are dazed. We do have to watch out for that. Do we have another... No, we do not. But we have helical crystals. Okay, so here's here's my new thinking, okay? We do get the train... Well, do we have another... Uh, no, there's nothing to reform. So we put a train steward up at the top. We add the burnout. We make sure you die so our pyre doesn't take damage. 
Now, I know we don't want this unit at the back because they're not going to get hit by the spikes. Like, you you don't have to be a true genius to understand what I'm, you know, that that's not really the way we want to keep things moving here. But we are also trying to make sure our pyre stays alive, like, at all costs. Um, you might as well come out and then just get yeeted and then come back again next turn. I, I am worried about our ability to get permanent spikes going right here. Um, that's... It's not looking fantastic right now. But for now, let's just let's just concern ourselves with getting through the actual fight here. We're only doing 16 damage, which is real bad. We're doing 36 damage. Um, we won't have space to put anything, which is real nasty. So um, we're going to take 15 pyre damage, I think. But at least we lived. That was with the trial turned on. All right, so what do we want? We don't mind, re like, reforming drafts is really good. The Entombed Explosive is quite helpful as well. Um, but it doesn't trigger our champion's abilities for sure. I, and I, It's tough. It's a tough one. I think either of these two is fine. We are about to get another unit draft. Um, I think we damage is... Well, you know what? Entombed Explosive solves a lot of the early wave problems for us. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um... Offering token is, is not necessarily bad, but it's a little goofy, just in the sense that, like... Like, we, we don't have anything we can trigger with it yet, and it being drawn as kind of a dead card is pretty bad for us, so I actually think Helical Crystals is maybe a little stronger. Um, and Big Sludge is a real temptation here, for sure. And Big Sludge... Nameless Siren, I think we're, we're casting so many spells, it could be really good as well. Sorry, let me caffeinate. Slurp, slurp. But I think Big Sludge, definitely, like, I, I see the I see the value. I think it's really hard to say no. It, it, it's like getting the first overall pick in the NHL draft, right? You want to draft best unit available. I think Big Sludge is the best unit available. And, dude, Legion of Wax, also insanely good. So I would say we have, like, two floors pretty much sorted here. Um, I do think... I mean, there's a couple of things. Legion of Wax definitely benefits from upgrades early but i do think big sludge with a little quickness preserves a lot of the hp as well so i am gonna i'm gonna send for that now legion of wax plus five plus ten i don't know if we're like that invested in that i think we might save for an upgrade in the future um we got to keep our pyre alive this should be we're gonna be really good let's not turn this on we're gonna be really good at handling uh Relentless. We're going to be really bad at handling bosses. Uh, for, a, for a little bit. So my time... Uh, my thinking right now... Hold on. I think we will get a Slay Trigger here on Little Fade. And I... Just let me make sure that's right. Because you're, you're doing nothing. You're going to hit us and die, which will give us a trigger. You're also dying just to Frostbite. And dude, I'm like... Dude, we should have Big Sludge and our... Uh, we might as well play you. We should have Big Sludge and our champ, like, constantly occupy the same floor. That's going to be huge for us. So you're already dead, which is lovely. We can reform our champion, which is exactly what we want. Although, it's not going to give us a kill. We s oh, maybe it will give us a kill. I don't know. I know, because you're going to probably get stronger and make this work a little bit better. Okay, so Legion of Wax, you just occupy, like, a whole floor by yourself. Um... I do kind of like the idea of having Legion of Wax and, uh... Oh, you know what? She did get more spikes. Oh, we shouldn't have played it this turn. We could have waited a turn. I like the idea of having Legion of Wax and, uh, Big Sludge on the same floor. I don't know how realistic that's gonna be, but... Can't really change too much here, so... Honestly, I mean, that, that really changed things quite drastically. That went pretty well. Getting Big Sludge and Legion of Wax, it turns out, is pretty solid. Um... I really don't think we need any of these. We've got to be very careful with what we add to our deck. Um, just because of the fact that we have... And I think we could totally make that work for two. We only draw three cards per turn. Which I think also means that more expensive cards have a little bit uh, less of a downside associated with them. I'd really like the Relic, but I, I think just for survivability's sake, we gotta we got to take a little Pyre health early. And uh, I'll tell you... <laughs> Um, I'll tell you, we definitely love a one space Legion of Wax that we can now put on a floor with Big Sludge. And again, 
so I, I know what you think. Maybe double it up? Okay, sure, why not? Um, we're gonna hit max size for sure, or max units on a floor. But I'm like, I'm pretty sure that with Big Sludge is gonna be awesome. We just have to make sure it can actually also get a kill. Like, it'll crush bosses. I just don't know if it'll do very well uh, in advance of boss waves. So here's the thing. You're gonna hit and kill us. But we'd still rather have you die, I think, early. As, as bonkers as it sounds. We definitely want, like, like, so Big Sludge can fit there. Train Steward. I would still say you play it. Not like we're likely to draw it anytime soon, but still. By the way, what's your thing? Oh, you strike and you push a unit to the back. So I think we want our other Legion of Wax just right here. Um, you have an encant trigger, so we're not going to flex on that. Nobody has burnout right now, so we're, we're cool. The thing is, we need to draw Big Sludge before one of these units, uh, before both of these units uh, run into trouble. So I'm like, where, where should we put you? I think it makes the most sense to weaken you as soon as possible. Um, you have an encant trigger yet again. 20 damage. Alright, so I mean, this sucks pretty badly. Um, our Pyre is going to take, like, two nasty hits, I think. At least these guys don't do very much damage, though. And we, we got our setup for the future. I love that. Okay, so at least you're dying. You'll live to hit once. Nobody cares. Um, well, we definitely want some, some harvest triggers here. I think we enjoy that. We're not getting... Oh, we're getting one other one, but that's okay. You got no burnout to worry about here. Everything's going fine. Again, the, the units don't do that much damage. It's more about the boss. Now, can I tell you, I'm super stoked, by the way, that I took uh, Pyre Health <laughs> a second ago. I think that really saved us a lot of, a lot of grief. Um, you guys are going to do some more damage. There's no, ain't no doubt about that. I mean, there is a real temptation to just summon some legions of wax down here, dude. I can't... I mean, in, to some extent, why wouldn't you? But I am going to give you a little extra juice. I'm not going to deny that. So you're going to get one extra... So, okay, I think we are going to hit you regardless. And then we're going to... I mean, we don't really need a train steward there. We could just put one back here and it'll do a little extra damage at least. Our pyre's in a real rough spot. But you're dead. Which we, we could have seen coming a mile away, quite frankly. Um, and we do have Big Sludge doing 94. Uh, sorry, 138 damage per hit. <laughs> it's pretty solid. Um, Alright. Everything being cheap is quite nice. This doesn't seem that good when you consider that... Uh, you know, we're not going to have... A big hand size. We are going to take draw, by the way. I think it's just the most sensible option. I don't know if any of these make sense to take, though. You know, I mean, basically everything in your hand is frozen. I think we could take a Siren Song, then. You gotta think about this for a minute. I definitely think there's still room for a Tycoon here. And we're going to take draw. We need the pyre health again. But I think we're in a much better spot now. We do we want unit upgrades ASAP cuz like Legion of Wax needs to get buffed. This is really funny. <laughs> to create a size 2 Legion of Wax. Unfortunately, it would mean that that Legion of Wax can't exist on the same floor as Big Sludge if it's the small floor, but I think we can play around that. We really need more damage as, as quickly as possible. So um, I think we'll focus. Oh, but another reroll is not going to be that good for us. I, Big Sledge is playing basically like a, a DPS roll at the back. I don't think we really need to worry about it right now. I, I guess I would fish for plus 25. But I, we don't really need that on you now that I think about it. I don't know, man. Encant armor too. I don't think it's essential. So I do think that was a bit of a wasted reroll. I, I should have thought about that one a little closer. Um... 
I, I think we're unit pinched. I think we're we're basically full on where we want units to be. We got to think about what we want to get rid of, and, and the easy answer is four train stewards because we have so many other units we actually like to play, and we got to find something to do with our champ as well. She's not really doing that much right now. Um, she can give plus five, plus one, and burn out two to friendly units. We don't really want to give our units burnout, unfortunately. So I think we're just going to basically have our champ be along for the ride. <laughs> and I'll do my best. Non-boss enemy units get multi-strike. We say no to this because I'm still a little slash a lot concerned about our pyre. Okay. So you are not the large stone. We can hold you for a bit. We can definitely fit a Legion of Wax at the bottom here. And we'll, we'll be happy that it's it's chilling. Collector's gonna die by default, which is a really nice kind of addition to that relic. So I, I think that you, it's tempting for sure to just put Big Sludge down here. But I'm also like, you know what? Hold on. Big Sludge. Lil Fave. And now I'm just trying to run it through. You'll attack, you won't die. You dying doesn't matter that much to me, but I'm like, okay, if I hit you for 25-25, then when you... Okay, so I think if we do this, then you're gonna die when you hit me. You're quick, so I'm not getting the slay trigger. Okay, so we... <laughs> we got a hard one to work around. I'm not denying that. The Legion of Wax that's going on down here is not really doing that much, I'll be the first to admit. However... I, I'm like, do you want the Wickless? I feel like Wickless is getting more down here. And then I'm, y your other Legion of Wax pretty much needs to be played, I think. And I'm like, what comes back? Legion of Wax would also come back. But it is coming back with Burnout 1. I don't know, man. Why don't you just like get up here because we're going to get a stupid amount of gold. And then let's also give you some extra Burnout because we don't really care if you die right away. You can, we can wait a bit on you. I, I think our champ is going to be basically worthless. I think it's my fault, to be clear as well. Um, but I don't think that matters, or I don't think it's going to matter, at least. So I would definitely say... Well, we'd, we'd rather harvest on this floor, if possible, because we're going to um, get more gold for it. So sure, let's, let's do that. Yeah, okay, that, that's a pretty sizable... I mean, it's 10 gold, it's not a ton, but it's worth having for sure. Now, we also want to make sure that you guys die. We got pretty lucky, actually, that we got a good reason to use that. And then our champ is coming back. They got Burnout 1. We can hold them and use them later. That's, that's a sensible play. Or, you know what we could actually do is play them, have them die, and then bring them back with this one. Because they're going to burn out this turn. <laughs> Actually seems fairly sensible, and let's get you out. I don't know, eh, maybe it makes sense to have you at the front now that I think about it. You guys are not dying. Alright. So. We still, I don't think you need to bring the champ back yet. I think, well, you, well but it's going to be harder to bring them back on the next turn, that's true. Um, however, here's what I think you do. Ah, uh, Helical won't quite get the job done. 154? We want you to get damaged, is the thing, but there's there's very little we could do about it. I don't know, man. I guess we sense might as well. you're not damaged at all. Well, we'll hold you for the next turn then, which is going to be helpful. I guess we'll just pass turn. There's not really much else we can do here. Well, we could put an entombed explosive up here. Why not? It'll die and make big sludge a little stronger anyway. So we're getting like a lot of gold. I don't think there's any denying that every time we play Harvest Baron properly, we're getting a lot of gold. So this should kill you. No, not quite a kill, huh? Alright, that'll kill you. You really hope that it's gonna be, uh, Spike Lord, but I'm- IT WAS! <laughs> I'll take any small victory we can get. Okay. Stealth? I don't think stealth is really that relevant on this one, to be honest with you. I think we're in a pretty, pretty good spot with where we stand. Got to be very careful adding things to our deck. Every card has frozen right now. Got to be very careful adding things to our deck because of the fact that uh, we don't draw very much. I really want the Pyre Health, dude. But on the other hand, I really like a free Relic. 
There's a lot to like. These are both pretty good. Burnout units are not going to die that much, so I think we go for the, uh, the Extinguish gives five armor to everybody. We get to cut our last two train stewards. And remember, this is one... Some of the challenges are a little goofy. On this one, we want a thin deck. Oh my god, this is so expensive, dude. We, w we wouldn't mind uh, probably precious plating more than anything else. We're really five gold off. <laughs> it's, just, it's a slap in the face, dude. But I'm happy with all my other cards. I don't really see spending as a good idea here. Um, but we're not turning on challenges too often because it's a little goofy right now. Um... All right, so you got to be careful because we do have uh, a sweep champion. I think we definitely like that. You're dying to frostbite, so there's no real reason to play little fade here. I think we'll just we'll just let this one go down, and then so we want big sludge on the same floor as the large stone. I don't know. It'll actually be a little tough to make it to make it happen. Now that I think about it. Yeah, we'd rather play it on the same floor as, like, a crappy one. We don't really mind if you make it up a floor, by the way, because we'll just, like, pyrebound the crap out of you, or siren song the crap out of you. So, I, I'm just... Like, I definitely... Because you do four damage, big sludge coming out, you've got quickness. Now I can't play you, which is it, it, very sensible, to be honest with you. Um, nobody has burnout, so we don't mind holding that. There's no real reason not to play some spells. Again, we anything that costs zero, if it's not worth playing it right now, we might as well hold it. It's not like we're going to reach max hand size anytime soon. Alright, so now I think, you, you know the play here. We're going to Siren Song you for zero. And then... How much HP? You got 25 HP? We definitely like it when you come out. We want as much gold as possible, right? So, I'm like... Look, there, there's a lot of plays here. We definitely want to get this Legion of Wax out here. I think we got to be a little shrewder than you might want to, you might expect, okay? So I think your your actual play is like, you get this other Legion of Wax out here to get you set up for the future. You can Crypt Builder them next turn. And I'm like, you know what? Let's have Lil Fade come out and get hit. Uh, that way... We're going to get another Harvest Trigger on top of everything. I think we're set up more nicely here. Definitely, we were guilty of trying to make things a little too precious and a little too perfect. But uh, I think that this is this is a positive for us. So we definitely need you to die. Um, and then you're kind of like a problem as well. Um, but you are already damaged, so we can daze you for three turns and you'll probably be totally fine. This is exactly what we were hoping for, for the record. Um... No real reason to play our other reform. And you have a Slay trigger, which is totally okay. But I think we'd rather... I think we'll Helical you, which is going to put you in a real rough spot. Everything else is fine. Uh, you do have Burnout, but you're not dying to Burnout, so we don't have to worry about it right now. Doing well with the Harvest triggers as well. Okay, so you, we needed to be able to do... Yeah, I still like that for sure, just to stay in front. Things are starting to pop okay here. This is not the unit we wanted, but I will admit, we'll probably get some sick harvest triggers off of it. And this will bring back our champion. And you have burnout one, so let's let's give you like super burnout, because we got a, a another wave of, of badness coming soon. Um, i.e. the boss. How much HP? You have 9 HP, so check this out. You're not going to believe this, dude. So there's a, a free spikes trigger for us. You're not dying. Oh, you got a sweep, dude. That's that's devastating. You also have 10 turns of lifesteal, which I always forget about. Anyway, we should still get a few harvest triggers. Not many. Burned out the lifesteal pretty quick. I know the more spells we played, the less damage it looked like we were doing, but that's just because of, like, how things appear with the lifesteal as well. I mean, this one, uh, without uh, being too cute about it, it is really tough to imagine how you die um, when you've got kind of infinite legions of wax. But we're trying to make it work with the theming as well. And I would also say, you know... Keep in mind on this one, we are, you know, on Covenant rank 25, so I'm not going to apologize for any use of resin whatsoever. 
So Memento Mori is really good. Um, I do think we have a few less units dying on average than you'd think. So I, I actually feel like we, we've done really well with the, the, the day's damage card. Um, everything else here, I, I don't think it's truly necessary. The money is coming fast and furious. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some pyre health here because we do have our boss fight. Damage is still a, an issue. Damage has been a problem for us. So, so some pyre health is, is relevant in my opinion. There's other ways to get damage though. Like upgrading your units that do damage, for example. Five gold when a friendly unit dies or apply dazed. We're, we're going to go for the gold. It's more because the dazed, we don't want it to screw up our... Uh, I think we definitely re-roll this. We don't want dazed to screw up our, um, our setup. You know, we, we don't want enemies to not hit us if they'd hit us and die instead. So, I, I know it's, it's real weird. I mean, it's like real weird. I guess you'd rather have two small stone, large stone legions of wax. <laughs> it's extremely goofy. And Big Sludge, admittedly, did not get that much stronger there. And we could purge cards, but I'm pretty happy with our deck. I don't know about this one, though. Like, I, I, I'm i very concerned about uh, our Pyre. The thing is, we do have Days cards. We do have, uh, you know, some Pyre bound. Uh, so we have a Pyre bound Siren song that I'm, like, pretty pleased with, but. Gotta be a little careful. So, this floor. We always love a big sludge. We need big sludge not to take so much damage that they die. Um, so. I think maybe on this floor, you set it up like this. Um, and I know nobody's gonna be like super thrilled with this one, but I think this is the way to do it. Our draw is really wonky in the early game because of the banner units. Now it's like good wonky, but all right. So the thing is, we can bring this steward back. We need to ensure that like some of these units are dying. So I think getting that Legion of Wax out there is insanely important. And, like, also, I don't really mind if you die. I hate to say it, but it's the honest-to-goodness truth. <laughs> so you got some sweeping going on here. Let's see what we're bringing back. It is Wickless Tycoon with Burnout 1. I think we summon you. Uh, we get the other Legion of Wax out there. And then do some heavy Burnout plays. This is just to get us some gold. You're going to make it to the Pyre. There, there's nothing I can do to stop you. This is why I was concerned about the Pyre in the first place. But, you know, it all is not lost until it's lost. Is it worth Siren songing this one? I honestly, in my heart of hearts, believe that the answer is no. I think instead what you want to do is daze you. And then you'll die on the next floor with daze on. We want to avoid any kind of encant synergies we can avoid here. You know what? I'm like, that seems like a pretty great start. And we're going to hold Siren Song because it doesn't matter yet. It doesn't matter yet. Hopefully we're getting close to some Harvest that'll that'll send Big Sludge into the Stratosphere. I think it's finally going to begin here. Now, we, we do need to try to kill you. Although, there's a lot of annoyance here. You do not have an Encant trigger. What is your... Your Slay gives you Rage too. We'd rather have you hit the pyre twice than you hit the pyre like four times. So I think we gotta save Siren Song. Um, we gotta kill enemies faster, which requires more harvest triggers as soon as possible. Um, we I don't I don't really mind you getting the the slay trigger. I'm just gonna be honest. The rage two doesn't doesn't bother me that much. This is we're we're getting a little prickly here. It's a little scary for sure. Um, if we make it through this fight, I think for sure we will tackle the the uh, we'll take more drives. I mean to say, all right. So you get dazed up here. You're still gonna hit it for six, I think. But what are you gonna do? You have been hit. We could daze you, but I think it's more important to. <laughs> It's more important to get out in front of some of these other units. So again, we're bringing Lil Fade back. Just, you know, the gold is nice and just weakening them faster is good too. Uh, I mean, we could definitely Crypt build here. 
It's more a question of like, do you even want to? I think that getting us two harvest triggers on this floor is fine. We need to make sure you die is, is like my, my big concern. Um, so I'm actually, it's weird. Actually, kind of like this. You're not going to be dazed forever, but you might be dazed long enough to die. You're going to die in two hits right now. It's weird. Um, so we, we can't hit you. Like, I mean, that's just, it is what it is. We just can't hit you. Um, you dying is, is actually great. Uh, we might just want to get that out there. And then I'm like, you know, we might as well get you out there too. You're not really doing anything, but get, but get out there. Go ahead. Live your life. So I think we do really well against Relentless Waves. That's, that's where I'm at right now. You're taking 500 damage. That's really solid. We can daze you for three turns, which is also very good. And I think we that's exactly what we wanted. Just get your champ out there a little faster. 700 damage. 800 damage. Take one of those and call me in the morning. One of these and call me in the morning. And then one of these and perhaps you would be interested in calling me in the morning. We lived. <laughs> it was a little spicy, but we lived. Alright, so I, I'm learning a very valuable lesson. The lesson is, is of the utmost simplicity. We need Big Sludge to get powered up faster. How does one do this? Stop summoning the good units on Big Sludge's floor. And maybe, like, prioritize putting Big Sludge on the bottom so when the weak units die, he gets the rage. Because we need to do more damage to them faster. Just don't like him. And we still need more... Energy has been, like, 0% a problem. Now that we're at, like, a, a reasonable level of draw, I'm, like, pretty stoked. We, we need Pyre Health. Um, we only have 24 spikes, which is not great. Um, would we rather bring you back now? At this point, we might rather bring you back, but we don't really like you taking up a draw, because we can reform you so easily regardless. You would get stronger, though. I'm like, with only three energy, we could bring you back three times. On the third time, you would really only have... I, I still think this is the play, even though it doesn't look that good. And I might be very wrong. Kind of flying on, you know, visual uh, indicators only. I got no instruments left. We don't heal units. So stronger units is okay if we want that. Pyre getting more HP is interesting as well. And then I'm like, plus 25 on a unit. I don't think we really care. That That's actually like almost the opposite of what we want. So it's either plus 10 and Heartless, and nobody heals anyway. Or it's 6 Pyre Health, Blood for Blood. I think this is more likely to be good for us. Because we do uh, use our... Our Pyre kills a lot of units. So I think that this is maybe a way to keep us kind of sustained and alive. But this is for all the marbles right here. Um, I don't think we care about making anything cheaper, really. I guess, you know... There is something to be said about that. Holdover is really huge. <laughs> you know, I'm like... There's something to be said about a, a, a Holdover uh, siren song. To maybe get like near infinite pyre health. It's not consume, so I don't know, man. So it's, Don't get me wrong, it's mega weird, but... Um, I think we're going to start purging these Frozen Lances, which admittedly probably could have done a little earlier, but... I think we're good to go. Alright, I feel like we've improved our station quite drastically. We've done, like, no trials, which I actually think... You, keep in mind, we're on Covenant 25. This is not just like, oh, you know... John Leguizamo's meme hour or whatever. Um, so we want Big Sludge at the bottom. If we want Big Sludge at the bottom, what do you want? What, what do you get, by the way? You're giving people multi-strike? Bet you think that makes you like a cool dude or whatever. Um, so you would die in one, two, three, two, three. Uh, 
just thinking. I mean, we can fit you down here, but then we can't play Big Sludge and a Legion of Wax, which we would really like to do. I think we'd rather play the Harvest or the the Wickless Tycoon up a little higher. We still want you to die. It's still valuable to me that our our champ dies because we want the spikes out there to begin with. So this is like this is a real spooky floor. We don't have Big Sludge, so we know for certain. But this is going to be so huge for us, dude. Okay. We know for certain we want a Legion of Wax up here. That doesn't bother me in the least. What else you got? You can reform your champ. Actually, like, pretty important. Which will kill you. Which is beautiful news. Um, you could helical that front unit. I, I don't see a good reason not to, I guess. We do get a Harvest Trigger out of it. And then there's going to be a lot of sauce out of... Uh, Siren Song starting immediately, dude. Alright, so we gotta think this one through. First, you know you're playing Siren Song. You might also play some spells in advance, though, because you're only gonna get dazed for three turns. But our Pyre will heal a little bit when it gets you. And you're gonna die... Okay, so actually, I think it's totally fine to just Siren Song you. Um, because you're gonna lose multi-strike and do less damage, and we're gonna get a bunch of heal off of it regardless. So I, I stand by that. Big Sludge has to get out there, but it has to get out there and not die. 10-10 just sits tough. <laughs> it's not an easy task, but you'd start with something like that. Okay, so you still got 31 damage out there, which is not what you want. You could put a Legion of Wax out first and then play Big Sludge next turn with no consequence, I think. So I think that's probably the, the way we want to do it. But if we're going to do it like that, we also probably wish to, I was just going to say, bring back a little Fade. Maybe get one extra Harvest Trigger off of it. And I don't know what Primitive Mold is going to bring back apart from that. What else is dead? Entombed Explosive? I mean, to be honest, yeah. Let, let's bring back our Entombed Explosive and just put it right here. We get another Harvest Trigger off of it either way. We don't care about our Burnout Triggers. That was good. So we, we broke even, which is all, all we could really ask for there, because we were not going to break even in advance. We were going we to eat it badly. Um, okay, Big Sludge, you know it's got to get out there. Big Sludge is starting to, to get some serious work done. Uh, we can't really afford much else. We can afford... Well, we know for certain we're going to play a Primitive Mold. You want it to hit Little Fade, and it did. So it has 32 spikes, and it would live through two shots. So it'll do 64 damage in spikes alone. I think we want you at the front still. And it's, it, I was just going to say, it might not get a kill, but it's going to get us mighty close. And you, we're not getting a kill with anything else, so we might as well Helical Crystals here. And now we finally, I think, stopped the bleeding for a little bit. I think we this is a very novelly constructed deck. I know that I say that all the time, but this is like... This is a very, very interesting and good deck to me that I'm, I'm pretty stoked to be a part of. Um, I think we want to send you to the Shadow Realm. And we have a Siren Song that we'll just keep in our hands so we don't waste a draw on it next turn. Might as well daze you regardless, I suppose. And then everything else, we're kind of just... It's gravy. So you're taking 438. A little less than I thought, I'll admit. Honestly, we don't need the Siren Song, you. Here's what I'm thinking. Quick uh, quick little daze helps us out. Um, we definitely do want to bring back some units. We don't have to do it right away. Nobody's got Burnout. Nobody's got Burnout. Um... Well, in that case, we got no space for it elsewhere. You know? Why not, I guess. It would be nice if we could get you. It's the trample that's really hurting us on this one. Um, but that's okay. So you're doing 209 here. Again, we're just we're just kind of hanging out. It's a little lower damage than we'd like for sure. Um, I'm like, do we do we want Siren Song next turn? I definitely believe that the answer is no. 
Little fade with burnout four. Just put you at the front here to enjoy your life so you're not dazed on the next turn. You are going to die in one hit. <laughs> Alright, so I'm like, you know what? Big sludge with burnout one. Actually not really worth playing at all. Um, we'll save it in case we get some anti-burnout cards, which uh, don't exist. So you know what? We'll play it. No, we can't even fit it because it's too big. Oh, that's insanely huge. I, I actually thought you were immobile. You know what? Well, that, that solves our problem. I don't know, I guess only the, the, the big three bosses are immobile, right? Alright, that went pretty well. 300 gold? Nothing to, nothing to sneeze at. I know that, that this seems like super good. <laughs> uh, it might be, I don't know, Let, let's take it. I really just don't know. I'll tell you, I, I don't know if we even need Pyre Health anymore. We kind of healed off of that. There's no free relic. There is a duplication. I don't know what we'd want on our duplication, though. We don't really need another Legion of Wax. Um, and all of our units are pretty much fully upgraded. So I do think like it makes the most sense to take either Spell or Pyre Health. I, I actually think we'll go gold and pyre health in the hopes that we can maybe get a great relic here. Extinguish abilities trigger an additional time. We only have one. Oh, we have two extinguish abilities. Um, you worry that maybe this would screw it up pretty bad, but could also be hilarious. So let's just... Uh, Let's hope for the best here, and then we'll remove yet another Frozen Lance, and... I don't know, man. Like, it's goofy for sure. But that that's not a bad thing. You've seen the Goofy movie. It made you cry. That doesn't mean it's a, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. So the first spell we play each turn gets consumed. It's not great, but we do have a... Uh, got a lot of spells in the deck. Alright, little Fade. We definitely love a Legion of Wax. Could fit with the big sludge on this floor. Yeah, I think you got to get this out here in the hopes that you get a uh, a big sludge ASAP. We, we can set it up multiple different ways. I'm not sweating that. So I think, like, I'm also like, this is another five floor. I think, because harvest is worth so much, I think on this one you actually go, hey, look, it's me, big sludge. And then how about one of these to just make your life easier? And we hope to draw a Legion of Wax next turn, which I cannot guarantee. Uh, and I'll, I'll level with you. Let's consume this spell so that we can actually play, like, uh, this spell instead. And I definitely want you to die so you don't add more trash to my deck, even though you're a little spicy as well. Uh, and we'll hold on to everything else. I do hate holding on to that card. <laughs> okay, so we can't play our Baron down there anymore. But I'll also level with you that our Baron uh, doesn't really have a good reason to exist anymore in this deck. Uh, what I would love to see, so we, you know what, we'd love to bring back a Legion of Wax. So we'd using Primitive Mold is totally fine. I don't, I don't worry about that. And then we'll have you come back, and you're gonna get very enraged. You guys getting busted up to the top here is gonna be very good for our Pyre. So we need to remove serious trash from our deck so i think you definitely spend on these um and i don't think you play anything else the, the tycoon has no reason to exist or be played um primitive mold it will bring back our champ but for what purpose although it's going to be hard to bring him back anywhere else to be honest with you but um I, I i don't see the reason to play him again we're not at max hand size actually we might be now in which case we will want to play this stuff turns out we are at max hand size i think um, so we drew another Legion of Wax. Remember, the first spell you play gets consumed. So, for certain, I think you love the concept of getting one more Legion of Wax out here. I think I'd love to consume this spell. Goodbye. It's another Legion of Wax. Okay. I don't know. Um, you guys are toasted. Get rid of one of these. 
Everything else is fine. We got no space to summon our champion. Might as well just chill, dude. Okay, so I don't know what's happening. Um, there's just like a lot of units. <laughs> Turns out Legion of Wax is like pretty good. Um, you are going to burn out, right? So let's change that. And that being consumed doesn't matter because it was going to consume anyway. Um, let, let's get... Honestly, let's get all this garbage out of our deck immediately. Uh, okay, so there's a little spooky stuff there, but we can bring back another unit. I'm not, I ain't sweating it at all. Because we can bring back uh, two units next turn, one of which will be our Legion of Wax, I believe. Also, think about all the armor our big sludge just got. <laughs> Alright, the first spell you play gets consumed. Guess what? Um, I hate you. Leave my deck. Now, Legion? A little fade. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, where's my where's my Legion of Wax? I was told there would be a Legion of Wax here. It's still okay. Like, don't don't freak out here. But um, I'm like, maybe now we actually play the Wickless Tycoon. It'll actually block all of the hits, which is pretty much all I could ask for. Um, and then. There's really no reason not to play this. It saves us 15 damage and also heals our pyre a little bit. And then I'm like, you know... These guys are, are a, a considerable problem. I actually feel like maybe taking the damage on this turn makes more sense. In order to kill the weaker units. Um, and make our deck better, but that didn't appear to be how it worked, but that's okay. Dude, what a weird way to run a deck. But our Pyre, I'm not going to say it has infinite HP, but it's doing, like, pretty well. Um, so in terms of spells that would be consumed, we can consume another Primitive Mold, in my opinion. It brought back Wickless Tycoon. Because um, I don't know where our other... Oh, our other Legion of Wax is, like, chilling up here. So I'm like, I don't know, man. Sure, just block some hits for Big Sludge. I would like another Legion of Wax to die so that we could have a... Uh, we could tank up our uh, Big Sledge a little bit, because he's a pretty important part of the whole game plan here. Um, and I, I don't really know what else to play, honestly, but you, you're doing great. So if you don't know what else to play, you should purge the garbage. Again, it's kind of tempting to play Siren Song just to give your Pyre more HP. We don't know if we're going to need that later, but it's a pretty safe bet. Um... I feel like Helical Crystals, maybe, I was just going to say, gives you an Extinguish or something on this, or gives you a kill on this floor. So I think we're on the final wave. Um, there's no reason not to be at least a little optimistic. We're doing 1600. I don't even know what's happening on this floor, so that's a good sign, I would say. Um, so I think for now, we actually don't mind you getting out here. And the idea, because we're, we're definitely going to Siren Song you again, but we'd maybe rather use one last Primitive Mold, which will bring back a Wickless Tycoon we can hold on to. Make sure these guys are dying. You are losing 10 HP, but that's... Okay, well, maybe that wasn't that sensible then. Um, we get rid of this garbage from our deck. I, there's no way you're making it past this floor then, in, in my estimation. You're taking 1890? Yeah, I, I mean, I think we've done it. I, and this was a bit of a challenging one, but I'm pretty stoked to have made it happen. Um, I think we're going to finally complete a custom challenge. And you know what? We'll say what we always say. Thank you, Legion of Wax. Literally just, like, the best unit. By the way, this might take a bit. Gra grab a drink, grab a snack. After that, I'll grab your wax. Still going, huh? Plus, we are getting rich. So I will say this is yet another run where uh, the the little fade had absolutely no impact whatsoever. I can't bring back any other units, my dude. Um, so you know, I mean. I guess I shouldn't act like this one's already over. 
These guys, I don't know, man. Maybe we should <laughs> just trigger your extinguish next turn. The thing is, it, it is already over. Even if it doesn't look like it is, we daze them for three turns when we come up. We got another flag. Like, you're already, I'm expecting the red X. Plus, on top of the red X, I mean... Excuse me. Um, I was told you're immobile. It. I think I've just lost the run. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. In in hindsight, I. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. I'll be back, but this one's gonna hurt. Goodbye.